This video is brought to you by Longoni Cues. Hi, pool players, this is Terminator. Welcome back to another episode of Terminator Tips. In this episode, I'm going to show you a great side pocket positional shot that could be an eye opener for beginner and intermediate players. You're going to gain an extra tool to run out when you thought the odds were against you. So let's jump onto the table right now and show you what I'm talking about. Here we go, pool fans, let's jump right into it. We're playing a game of nine ball here, and our opponent has just missed the seven. He's left us this situation. The eight's in front of the side, we have a long, tricky seven ball, and the nine is on this side of the table. What's interesting about this layout is that our brain is kind of trained that if we want to get from the eight to the nine, we have to be on this side of the table here, follow the eight in, and get down table here for the nine. So we have to get here, make the eight, and travel this way for the nine. Now this is where I'm going to teach you something because it's counterintuitive and we have to think backwards because for us to get to this part of the table for the eight, we're in deep trouble on the seven. We're far away from it, we're almost straight in, it's going to be very tough to get to that side of the table. The solution is counterintuitive and much overlooked by amateur players and therefore this could be nice and eye-opening for you. Let's dive in. Instead of doing a Houdini shot, remember the old magician, and trying to get multiple rails to this part of the table with inside spin, high risk of missing the ball, what we can do is actually stop this seven ball, stop the cue ball after we make this seven, like this, and take another shot on the eight right here. We're gonna go to the opposite side of the table and use the rails here to get back in position for the nine. This seems weird because our brain says, but wait, we have to get to that side of the table. Yes, we're gonna get there, but we're gonna use the opposite side of the table. And this is actually much easier and much safer. Why? Because if we hit this eight ball correct, we're gonna stay away from all the pockets, plus we're coming into position for the nine. And remember, that's the best percentage way to play position. Our goal is to hit the side rail approximately here in between these diamonds, get to the middle diamond, middle diamond, once more to the middle diamond, and we're totally safe with great position on the eight. Let me demonstrate. In this case, I'm going to hit it with some stun and a tip of outside spin, left spin in this case, going around the angles. Look how nice that's coming into the line of position. I'm not doing anything special, nothing you cannot do. This works fantastic when the eight is fairly close to the middle pocket, here, here, about here. When we get too sharp, that's when we get into trouble and it doesn't work anymore. But when the pocket opening is very close here, the shot is relatively easy. All we have to do is be parallel, even a bit beyond, a bit further for a cut shot. Let me demonstrate a few options. Here again, get to the middle diamond with stun, tip of right spin, and I'm traveling right through all those lovely diamonds. Coming down table, great shape. In this case, the cue ball is a bit higher. I still want to try and get to these middle diamonds. So I don't want to use stun because I'm coming too low and there's a risk of scratching. So a thin hit, this time with some follow. And I don't really need any spin here. It's going to travel through the corners. Very nice and easy. And the last example, or when I'm a bit flat, I don't have enough angle as such. This time I have to hit it with a bit more force to come here and make it accelerate. Again, stun shot, hitting it a bit harder, going through the angles. You see, it just wants to come naturally down table and give you the win. So here's another great example. We're straight in on this five again. We're hampered over the eight. Sevens in front of the side. Let's be smart and play high percentage. 
let's just make the ball nice and easy, not too much, and stop it right there. Now we can play that shot again, but what's interesting about this one, if we play it with stun, we're coming in here to these angles here, and fairly low as we just saw, we may have a risk of getting behind the nine if we play it too hard. This time, if we use a middle ball, we're coming in slightly sooner to the rail, we're coming more towards the first diamond, coming shorter out of the rail, and therefore a bit higher, and no risk of getting behind the nine. So try and experiment with that one also. Here we go, middle ball, just one tip of spin, coming just a bit further on the rail, and look here, perfectly towards the middle diamond, and in great shape to run these remaining two balls for your win. And as a final example, let's say our opponent has missed the eight in a game of nine ball, eights here, nine there, it's very hard to go our multiple rail shot because we're coming in fairly close on the nine. We might bump it into a bad spot. We might get frozen onto it or under it. This time what we can do is use low right, play more for, the, for this diamond, come back out towards this diamond, and then take a nice shot on the nine. That's high percentage. Let's do it like this. Low right to try and get deep out of that corner. that towards that third diamond and here at least I got a nice high percentage shot on the nine to close the game out. Only thing you have to be wary of with this shot if the eight's perhaps a bit further out is that you don't draw it below this diamond because two rails you can scratch in the corner. That's what we have to be careful of. Always try to aim for this diamond here and then you have a good chance going for the third diamond. Unless you're playing on really bouncy and wet equipment, that can also give you a fall bounce and come back up higher. So be wary of that one also. So have some fun and experiment with this one, pool fans. It's gonna give you great power and confidence if you can control these angles and swing around a few rails to get on the winning money ball and run out. There you go, pool fans. I really hope you got some knowledge out of this one. And let me know in the comments below if it worked for you and if it won you some more games. Don't forget to check out all the other great content on the channel. There's tips and lessons here uploaded weekly for you. And remember, if you're interested in the mental side of the game, head over to terminatorcollege.com. Check out all those courses that are just waiting there for you. Take care. See you in the next episode.